most of them coming on our social media asking mm -hmm. or oh, how it or went how about it, yeah. how can we get a link to watch and all of that but mm -hmm. yeah i mean great feedback people were educated mm -hmm. the fact that they had an impression that it was um to talk bad about christianity mm -hmm. or convince mm -hmm. people mm -hmm. to follow what the spiritual world talks yeah. about yeah. they knew that it, it was not all about that but it was just about we getting to understand what other people are worshiping what That's other right. people are going through in life right. and the extent that can go to be recovered so yeah okay. generally it was more about the education part of it and also to open the eyes of people to what is happening in the spiritual realm mm. spiritual realm in the sense that uh, people believe in different ways of worshiping their yeah. gods yeah. to get healing so yeah it was it was a massive one and people like but i mean the other side of it was that they were scared mm -hmm. because they said that uh, the place that i entered was yeah. quite mm -hmm scary they, they wouldn't just, imagine yeah, entering you? such a space some asked and if would i would i people have asked uh, my brother i say if you close your eyes they sleep <laughs> 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 okay, you understand. all right let's take uh, mm. some bites from the first part of the right. documentary and then we talk about tomorrow's premiere of the second mm -hmm. part sure. the lives of those who seek solace within the abla comfort realm I understand the mean to me, Uncle. I'm a dosso. The bree, we ba we ko, we ba we ko. The mean to me, who we mean to answer? Maybe I we say, masado do say, masado do say. The bree. Now, Omo Omo ha kura, Omo nyang ko yeno. Omo yari nyang ko yeno. Omo kura dosso pa. Na Omo Omo koso mean to me, who na no. Omo Omo ba no. Now we're at him, sir. Me panning at you be at me catch anything, sir. Mean to me, now, Fako baby for four. This is the Nana Jendu territory in Techiman Yoso, and what you're seeing here are gods called the Nana Jendu. And this woman right behind me, who is Nana Abna Komfor, has been a priestess who has served these gods for over three decades. She tells me that a number of people here in Tichiman come to her for spiritual healing, people who have mental ill challenges, and a lot more. She has claimed to have healed a number of people who come to her with these challenges. With the morning sun painting the sky, a new day dawns upon the spiritual sanctuary. A silent procession unfolds as patients their faces, a mixture of hope and reverence, enter the shrine. Here, they bow before the Nanajind gods, seeking protection and guidance. Within five minutes, the session is done. The sorcerer prepares a protective portion for them to drink very dark in color there's a mad rush for it here motto as it's been called is meant to protect them from bad spirits a direction from the gods i don't Sana, 
Okay. okay. So all this is on YouTube. Mm-hmm. Uh, you can go and check it out on uh, Godna Silver's page or channel. Uh, you can also go on the TV3 Ghana channel on there, 3 FM 92.7 mm-hmm. uh, channel on YouTube as well to check it out for yourself. So we've seen the first one. Mm-hmm. Uh, this was like the story, the style is to introduce us to what is yet to come. Absolutely. So what is yet to come? Is that tomorrow? No? Um, what is coming tomorrow <laughs> is more of what people were expecting in the first episode. Mm. Uh, more of the action, more of uh, people going the extra mile to mm. either seek help, be recovered, or get their problems solved. Mm. Um, you see people painted in different colors going to riverside, entering water, mm. some claiming that they communicate with the water. They go as far as communicating with mummy water mm. in quotes. So yeah, marine marine spirit. Exactly. So mm. that that's what episode two. It's delving in. I mean, deeper when it comes to understanding what water is about, mm. understanding where your soul belongs to. You know, the traditionalists believe that mm. every individual belongs to either a tree. Mm. It can be a rock, a stone anything at all Mm. so i decided to focus on those who believe in water because Mm. i was able to get them maybe subsequently when i'm able to get those who also believe in stone Mm. rocks and Mm. all of that i'll get to highlight their story for us to get to understand the reason why they're doing that and if indeed it works or not so yeah that's what episode two it's talking about wow wow Okay, so I'm just searching for horror sounds <laughs> on the internet, and I get Why this do you want to do? The story has one already, <laughs> and I get this and creeping, weeping, <laughs> ghost sound effects, and I'm wondering why 15 million people, including myself, decide to check I, this out. Can you That's imagine? That's the number of views on there. Can like, you imagine? What 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 would <laughs> drive you there? Why why would I, you? I think people are naturally attached or attracted to horror sounds or horror movies. I hear some people so, hear it to sleep. To sleep, yes, wow, and it's the wow. weirdest thing I've heard. Like, yeah, that's, I learned that that's from Michael, Michael, Michael Digital. Ah. Yeah, Michael, he he listens to horror effect sounds to sleep, to sleep. as so calm then, as he is. So, by the time the bad news, bad dream go happen, mm-hmm. you already start bad on the bad <laughs> real life. So, nothing they go view, but uh, nothing to be scared. Or the Nini Kane, we are no Ashika. Uh, uh, well, well, <laughs> <laughs> well, so let's give you a, a bit of what you're exper- well, expecting experience tomorrow. Yeah, yeah. Uh, let's check that out mm-hmm. right now. But, you get me? But you see, traditional religion applies to uh, how do I put it in fact where you are coming from his journey began within the confines of pastoral duties from 2008 to 2010 it all started in the church days those days when uh, I was a pastor and after being a pastor for several years I was a seven-day Adventist uh, Sabbath school teacher and then um, Along the line, around 2010, I found myself in the Judaism, and all the way along 2017, there I was, uh, uh, I just left Judaism. So 2017, there I took my spiritual journey very seriously, uh, performing healing, teaching here and there. Comparing the African spirituality with the Jewish spirituality, I realized that it's all the same, so therefore, uh, I have to return back to my own African spirituality system and then uh, infuse myself with it. However, a profound shift transpired as he discovered an unexpected connection to water. Maharaj employs the power of music to invoke the presence of the goddesses for spiritual healing. And we don't have to listen to that. <laughs> <laughs> what, what presence did you search for the studio? <laughs> so, wow, my guy. Mami, Mami Water was about to come. He, he told you that? Uh, yeah, she appeared. Huh? Huh? You say? Yeah. Maybe you should have a look again. <laughs> God, what, are you, what are you doing? Yes, a human being appeared with four hands and five legs. So Mami Water is not the one we draw. We I'm kidding, I'm kidding. Stop it. Stop it, my guy. Stop it. Yeah. Stop it. But, but there's more to it. There's more to mm. it. Yeah. That, so that's actually a white bowl. I mean, for those who are watching on Facebook and mm. would mm. have the opportunity to see the videos, mm. um, the, the white bowl with the stick that he's moving around, it creates a certain sound, a really scary sound. And um, Maharaj claims mm. that is the sound that attract the goddesses. Mm. 
so when they are about worshiping and they have people who are around you see that they will all enter into the Trance. spirit realm mm. and then they will start behaving in a certain way really? speaking a language that you wouldn't understand but he understands them. yes of course wow mm. interesting yes yeah, so that's how and you can clearly tell that he also mentioned that he was a pastor actually a sunday school yeah. leader who was teaching the kids but after some time he realized that that wasn't where he belonged to mm. so he went into judaism and then it also didn't work for him and finally he realized that his soul was connected to water mm. so what we can actually see is the maharaj temple mm. and that is also a statue there in a the form of a mermaid mm -hmm. where the worship that's also where they usually go to worship somewhere deep in the forest so you, they you go went the, with them into this yes, forest. yes 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 it was, a, it, was a, it was a 45 minute walk you couldn't allow them to join you via zoom <laughs> you entered this forest with them yes i did and i was actually in the water with them as well they tell you that when you come with a clean heart nothing is going to happen to you so is it if you come with a clean heart <laughs> <laughs> so yeah i didn't go there with bad intentions mm. i was also mm. praying whilst mm. i was in there exactly. so yeah it was just a story that i was looking out to tell and i'm sure either the marine spirit or whoever that mm. is mm. in charge of the powers would get to understand that i meant no harm but yeah. i was just in to yeah, tell a story working. for people to know exactly wow. what they are doing also coffee chair who is an anthropologist was also very um, much insightful when yeah. it comes to yeah. some of the sound bites he gave he mm. spoke deep into the spiritual realm and made mention that people are actually lost he said me myself i am lost because he doesn't know why, why you using... i'll be named godwin instead of having a local name but if you get to listen deeply into some of the things that he mm -hmm. has been saying it sort of makes sense yeah yeah but i am a christian and i believe in what the bible yeah, says so okay. yeah just like i said not taking sides just being neutral and transparent with what they believe in and what their realm is all about did we get to find this god that we've been searching since the first part of the documentary in so your conclusion th this, what is, are your th th yes. this is just episode one and two oh, where there is we, more there is more to come there is oh. definitely more to come surprisingly there was this um man that i was talking to mm -hmm. he actually has a mansion a very big mansion that houses um an occult i don't know if i should call it an occult but uh, they are quite a, a number of people who come together to perform some spirituals to make a lot of money and sometimes mm -hmm. they involve human blood mm -hmm. in the whole process i was able to get in touch with him we had a conversation i told him that everything was going to be secure mm -hmm. there was no way i was going to the show where he identity exactly yeah. we had an agreement i asked him if i was able if i will be able to enter into the space where they do the spirituality work because mm. that's exactly what i want he agreed with me mm -hmm. told me that oh i wouldn't show the faces of the people but you know sometimes you capture visuals in a way that can tell a story mm. without mm. necessarily yeah. showing so their, your exactly yeah. and he agreed that we do the thing uh, he went to the north then mm -hmm. he came back to accra mm -hmm. i reached out to him on a saturday we planned to do it on a sunday morning it was sunday i came to the office got my crew ready i called this man and he never answered my oh, call no. till dates is he alive though he is okay uh, his social media page is active so i am so he's confirmed that he makes a lot of money yeah he has a he, group of young and when you men, go on mm, his page is mm, all about blood feathers mm, money in port powder like really yeah I thought, I thought so those pages were fake no some of I them actually like do work. Scams, no, you, 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 they have videos of them mm. performing. I had a deep conversation with him, mm. and he opened out to me that this wow. is actually what they do. So if I claim that I am reaching him from TV3, mm -hmm. he's watched some of my documentaries and he knows some oh, of the okay. things that I do. Okay. And yeah, clearly I don't some trust. Exactly, mm. it's not about TikTok trends yeah, 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 and yeah, all yeah, of yeah, that. Yeah, yeah. We are doing serious business here. So he agreed to talk to me but i'm sure he might have had a conversation with one or two people who told him not to give me the well well yeah maybe we just also guy but you be brave guy see i don't even know how i do it giovanni i just find myself in the space and then i'm doing the thing hold on hold on i'm sure I, this conversation make others join in but mr i hear you zero five five nine 
0556-910-154. Maybe you've also identified uh, a God. Mm -hmm. Yes, maybe yeah. your personal experience as well mm -hmm. will help shape uh, this conversation. Maybe you've seen the first documentary. Looking forward to the next. Uh, tell us what you make of uh, my brother's search. Uh, to search for the God. <laughs> you know that whole thing, yeah? <laughs> so call us, 0559 242 uh, If you've got any questions at all for God in the city bar as well, he's here to answer them all. Hello? Yeah, hello. That was quick. Yeah. Oh, excuse me, brother. Yes, sir, Alpha. Yeah, I'm good. Great. Talk to Godwin. Yeah, I guess, I guess, I guess, tune into your station and then I, I was listening to your, your man. Mm-hmm. And uh, it, it's a good adventure he's going through, but mm. I, I I pray that he he takes more caution with things that he sees. For so instance, things are very serious, mm. and uh, I, I think he should he should be more prayerful if he believes in the scriptures. Uh, whatever uh, thing he believes in should be guiding him through that. Mm. Are you surprised at some of the things you've heard? Really, I, I do. I, I've been in Nigeria and I've been with some guys uh, who are awkward, mm. especially in Calabar, faith and all that. And mm. these are very serious things. Wow. These are really serious things. So I, I presume he, he can take things serious. Sometimes it's not about mm. him being, they can even convert him into that. Really? Uh, seriously, they mm. can. Mm. They can. Because as far as you get to know about them, mm -hmm. then definitely you should be initiated into it. Yeah, because you probably have seen too much. Yeah. Exactly. Wow. Exactly. Wow. So uh, it's a good adventure he's going through. Mm. But uh, uh, because he's trying to enlighten us, he's yes. trying to educate us and all that. Mm. Mm. But, but there are disadvantages also, so okay. we should be more careful with all right. that. All right. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank you very much. Well appreciated. 0559 242. Seven one seven zero five five six nine one zero. So you know what actually yeah. happened? Mm. <laughs> the man who agreed and mm -hmm. spoke about the human blood yeah. for yeah. the spiritual mm -hmm. works and all of mm -hmm. that, I was like, hey. So in case I go with this money, so you are I the next. The <laughs> and I said, I am say you are the next. And who's who Hello. Hi. 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 Welcome to the three FM drive. Thank you, Giovanni. What's the name? Oh. Okay, Fari. Fari, yeah, Fari, uh huh. Talk to us. Yes, Fari. Fari, please stop up and call us back. Eh? Stop up. It's <laughs> 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 someone, Fari. <laughs> zero five five six nine one zero one five four. Zero five five six nine one zero one five four zero five five nine two four two seven one seven. If you've got messages, you can send to us on WhatsApp. It's zero five five zero zero five two nine two seven. Uh, another one. Okay, before the message, let me pick this call. Hello. Hello. Hi. Yes. Sorry. I'm back. Aha. Uh -huh, great. Sorry. Sorry. It's on to just hang up this time round. Okay. So I was asking, mm -hmm. was Godin able to sleep after this documentary? Thank you. Because even I that was watching it on screen, after the documentary, closing my eyes became difficult. Mm. Because, um, and then when he entered the, is it Nana Jedi, was mm -hmm, the first mm -hmm, mm -hmm, uh, mm -hmm. place he entered? The priestess, Bare, yeah. Yes, the, the barefoot said, I was like, hey, sorry, congrats, should I even say congrats or what? Uh, like, well done. They? Uh, <laughs> but, but off camera, off camera, did uh -huh. you see any marine spirit? Just curious. Yes, just curious. Okay, he will answer you. Uh huh, guy. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't see any marine spirit. Yeah. I didn't see anything that appeared to disappear or yeah. any sort of magical. But you believe in at least some aspects I, of the things. They just like be. I said, I went in mm. to tell a neutral story. Right. I don't want to take sides with anything. Mm. I didn't see anything. Mm. Um, Did this question your belief in any way, your belief system? I mean, at a point with the conversation, mm. you get to understand them in a way. They mm. say things that you know you connect one or two and you're mm -hmm. like okay mm -hmm. this can be weird. exactly mm -hmm. but yeah I, I i knew what i was doing and i knew the reason that took me there so i was much focused on that and it was purely working That's to right. get the 
story done and tell it very well for people to understand what it was all about mm. but yeah talking about being able to sleep i was able to sleep mm-hmm. the only story that only got me awake throughout the night was, was the mushroom one that was the only story the mushroom one eh? yes because i kept seeing, seeing the dead bodies the, 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 were, were they calling you were they winking at you <laughs> sir so you know what when i entered one of the cold rooms mm-hmm. it was they have these boxes mm-hmm. that they put the bodies in there mm-hmm. most of them were actually packed so let's say a box that should contain a body has about three bodies squeezed in it mm-hmm. so it was so full to the extent that some of the bodies were piled on the floor and usually when someone dies mm-hmm. you have that whitish mm-hmm. thing that comes out. so immediately i entered the the cold room mm-hmm. I some will have their eyes open, out. Mm. blood coming from mm. their mouth, mm. and they are all packed. Just, just, yeah. So guy. immediately I entered. That was the first thing I saw. Mm. About fifteen of them packed in the corner, and some staring at you. You feel like they are staring yeah. at you because their eyes are open. So they're the kind that would you sneeze and they go like, "Excuse you." <laughs> well, if that had happened, see, <laughs> I'm just following the place. Eh? First, you will see the camera without a cameraman because I know your cameraman will jack. But first. So you know what actually happened? Flint out of his shirt and I, 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 I filmed that story myself. What? Yes. The much one? Yes. The cameraman wouldn't go. I use my it will be difficult for you to get a cameraman to go into such a space with you. Mm. Yes. Maybe I knew the kind of story that I wanted to tell and I knew how far I'd wanted to go with that. So that documentary was fully filmed by me in the mortuary so at the part where you see me speak into the camera mm, into the camera was, was a selfie in, yeah either a selfie or i will give the phone to a mortuary man mm, who is not working yeah. on the bodies at that moment to record me yeah so everything i recorded in there um the chilled gutters with maggots mm. the bodies turning into skeletons mm. everything was done by my phone godwin asiriba and yes tomorrow we have a date guys 9 p.m on tv3 he's right. on on the volume two <laughs> of his documentary <laughs> charlie thank you so much my brother thank you Giovanni. wow the three fm drive continues right after hot edition alfred who can see the team already seated for that join us again in an hour